Well, a cruel and inhumane discovery of what seemed like a normal house in Brooklyn. Inside, pit bulls were taught to viciously attack. The home transformed into a dog fighting training camp. The garage morphed into a mini arena where spectators could watch the dogs fight. Here's Kimberly Richardson. Einstein was a good guy. Einstein, he was just a regular neighborhood guy. But there was nothing regular about what was going down inside Leslie Alexander's home. Authorities say a dog fighting operation. Oh! They used at least seven pit bulls, animals that had clear scars and signs of recent trauma, bite marks all over their faces and bodies. The dogs are now at this nearby shelter. But I've never been in that house. As long as I've been on this block, I've never been in the south. Were you surprised to see what I showed you? Very much so. I'm telling you, that's kind of disgusting. I can't even look at it. But one look inside Alexander's home is enough to make your stomach turn. Here in the kitchen, filth. In this room, kennels standing in urine. When authorities came here May 24th looking for guns and drugs, they also discovered two treadmills they believe were used to build up the dog's stamina. Did you ever see him walk in the dogs? No. One dog, a couple of years ago, I've seen him walk one dog. Authorities maintain this was the center of this operation. It's an old garage that they maintain was converted into a dog fighting arena. Dirty carpets are inside, a mattress and extension cords, most likely for lights. Outside in the yard, we came across used syringes, chains, and leashes. What's also troubling here on Boylan Street is that this full-scale operation sat right next door to a daycare facility where today workers were busy installing security cameras. In Brownsville, Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.